Well, Lord, God bless you, and God keep it this evening, and thank you for tuning on to me once again. Praise God. And I hope you all went out to give God the praise and the glory today, not just because of Sunday, but do it every day. Praise God. I want to share with you um, out of uh, Job. Job talking about, uh, you know, Job continue to defend his innocence. Out of Job chapter 17, I'm going to start here with, I'm just out here sitting in my car in this wonderful, wonderful, sunny air weather. But right now, because you never know when the weather going to change, it change so much. But I just thank God, you know, that it's uh, warm out here. Praise God. I want to share talking to you um, once again. Job continued to defend his innocence out of Job chapter 17 once again. It says here, my spirit is crushed and my life is nearly snuffed out. The grave is ready to receive me. I am surrounded by mockers. I watch how bitterly they talk me. You must defend my innocence, O oh God, since no one else will stand up for me. You have clothes. It says you have clothes their mind to understand but do you said but do not let them trumpet they betray their friends for their own advantage so let their children faint with hunger god has made a mockery of me among the people they spit in my face my eyes are swelling with weeping and i am but it says but I, it says i it says and i am but a shadow of my former's i mean former self the virgins are horrified when they see me. The innocent rise up against the ungodly. The righteous keep moving forward, and those with clean hands become stronger and stronger. As for all, you come back with a better argument, though I still won't find a wise man among you. My days are over. My hopes have disappeared. My hard dis desires are broken. These men say that night is day, that they claim that the darkness is light. What if I go to the grave and make my bed in darkness? What if I call the grave my father and the maggot, my mother of my sister, of my, of my sister, where there is my hope? Can anyone find it? No. My hope will go down with me to the grave. We will rest together in the dust. That's also the uh, book of Job, chapter uh, 21, verse 33. And that's what, what actually what Job said. And also, I just want to read here. Let me get my other book here. Whew. Okay. My, uh, my God instruction book. It says... Uh, the hardest secret for a man to keep is his opinion to himself, you know, of himself. Romans chapter 12 verse 3 says, For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than be ought to think, but to think soberly according to as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. He who buries his talent is making a grave mistake. First Timothy chapter four verse fourteen it says, Neglect not the gift that is in thee. If a care he said, if a care is too small to be turned into a prayer, it's too small to be made into a burden. First Peter chapter five verse uh, seven it says, Cast your care upon him for he cares for you. I want to um, share with you right quick. I was listening to a, a, a preacher. He was uh, just talking, preaching about the word of God and everything, and it just and it just had my attention. You know, uh, he was saying, you know, something about prayer. You know, it said uh, something about little prayer is better than no prayer. You know, then when you pray, you know, you want power to be in your prayer, but when you don't pray. You don't expect no power, you know, to be headed your way. And I, he was saying, you know, and, and those, you know, those expected words. And I was like, wow. It's like, uh, more 
power when you pray, no power when you don't pray. It's like, so wow. And I was just thinking about that, you know, over and over this morning. I'm like, and then it's like, when I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, you know, no word of God, you know, no wisdom, no knowledge, no understanding, no nothing what he wants you to do. With no words, no faith. You can't say you have words. You can't say you have faith when you ain't, have, when you ain't heard the word. So it's like, if you're not reading, how you going to have faith? No words, no faith. You want God to do some things, how you going to do it without instruction? You know, to read his word. It's like, uh, either you want to do it or you don't want to do it. You want to obey or you don't want to obey. You want God's blessing. But you want, but you don't want you want you want God to bless you, but you don't want to receive or go nothing. You you don't want to go through it to get His blessing. You know, He's telling what He's telling you what to do. He's telling you what not to do. He wants you to keep His commandment. You know, you can't keep His commandment till you know what He said. You have to read the commandments for you to know what the commandment says. I was just thinking about that, but anyway, praise God, which is which is true. But um. But I was reading here, uh, I'm going to read this next page. It says, even a woodpecker owns his success to the fact that he used his head. Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 5 says, but you keep your head in all situation. The poorest of all men is not the man without a sin, but the man without a dream. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 18 says, where there is no vision, the people perish. When you can accomplish more in one hour with God than one lifetime without Him. Matthew chapter 19 verse 26 says, With God all things are possible. The next, I'm going to read this last one. It says, the only, the only preparation for tomorrow is the right use of today. Matthew chapter 6 verse 34. It says, Take therefore no thoughts for the morrow. For the morrow shall take thoughts for the things of itself. Suffering significant unto the day is the evil thereof. So praise God and God bless you. Um, something else I wanted to talk and share. My daughter, me and my 24-year-old, me and my 24-year-old daughter, we were just talking uh, a couple of days ago. And uh, matter of fact, we was eating. We was eating. We was at the table eating. I was, I was about to go, and I just she just got the, the I guess the spirit came upon her. She just started talking about the word of God. So. You know, I, I just start. I just start sitting there. You know, listening to her. You know, she got loud. She really got loud. You know, people just looking and everything. I'm like, well, well, maybe they need to hear the word of God too. It be, you know, um, sitting there at the same time. And I was like, and she was really loud, and she was talking about something about. Uh, have I heard about what it said in the book of the Bible that were about this six six six? You know, they're gonna be like stamping, putting things on your body. You know, you are gonna have hearing people that's not. You know, uh saying who they are and then you're gonna be hearing people that's gonna be like saying they Jesus you're gonna be hearing people that's gonna say they uh they God and they got uh the power and, and um they can do what God do and, uh, and everything you're gonna hear people that say these different things and uh she was telling me also which I read something like that in the Bible anyway whatever she said to me was already written it's already in the book and I already read it but I was just letting her talk and she said, sure, I'm not trying to be on this earth when that day comes. You know, she said, you know, they're gonna, it's going to come a time of your lifetime when it's going to be the end. And, you know, they're going to be like separating the people that love Jesus and separating the people that, you know, love the devil, which is they're going to stand 666. And the one that don't love uh, Jesus, you know, that's going to be stamped with the 666 on their forehead or something like that, whatever part of their body. And they said, the one that do love Jesus, they're going to be like beaten. They're going to feel a whooping like Jesus did, you know, felt. And I was just, you know, listening to her and everything. She said, I don't want to be in that situation. I want to be already dead when that time comes. I'm not trying to feel no pains and all this whooping stuff what Jesus went through. And I was just listening and everything. And I'm like, well, you know, I said my opinion on that. I said, oh, well, I'm going all the way through it. You know, I'm on Jesus' side. I'm, I mean, he lives in me. You know, um, when that time comes, they if they ask me whoever they're supposed to be, asking me who side up I'm on. I'm like, I'm on Jesus' side all the way. You know, she's talking about they're gonna be like whooping. I'm like, well, I just gotta get a whooping. I just gotta feel the pain. But um, you know, ain't about the, it ain't about my body anyway. I mean, it may hurt. They may be, I may be hollering and screaming.
but it is what it is. I made up my mind to do what Jesus said to do. I'm, I'm a follower. I'm Jesus' follower, and that is all to it. And then, um, <laughs> not to be funny, I'm like, well, shoot, they gonna, if they're going to be doing all that, you know, my mind is made up. I'm, I'm going all the way through. They might as well just, I tell my daughter, I'm like, they might as well just put me on the cross, too. Nail me to the cross too like they did Jesus. I'm going to feel some pain like that because I'm choosing Jesus all the way. You know, I'm following Jesus all the way. And when that time comes, I'm not going to change my mind like Paul did. He denied Jesus three times. It is what it is. I must go all the way through. It don't even matter to me, you know, because about the whooping all the pain, you know, and everything. You're going to be whooping. You're going to do what God said tell you, tell you to do right now anyway. You might not be feeling physical feel that but you're gonna be whooped one way or another if you don't do what god said to do right now so i told her you know my opinion i'm like well i'm already saved you know it don't even matter what what people do uh or what they you know when that time comes I'm, I'm i'm just gonna go all the way my mind is made up my, my man this is how it is with me and she was like well i hope i ain't here i hope i'm dead gone way before all that happened I said, well, you know, if you're here, you're here, you know, but just to make up your mind you, right now. Don't wait till that time comes. Right, make up your mind right now. Whose side you on? Whose side you going to be on? Don't wait until that time come. You know, he wants you to do it now. You know why he said get in the world, do the will of God now, because God got you when you do these things. When you keep his commandment, you love him, you'll keep his commandment anyhow. It don't matter what they do to you. They can't do you no harm. They can't do you no, they can't, you know, they can't hurt you. You know your spirit gonna live anyhow. So it's like when she said, well, I don't wanna feel the whooping, I don't wanna feel that, but I don't wanna feel what Jesus felt. I like well so you gonna what you gonna do? Choose change your mind and say, Well you on the devil's side if, if you is still here. You know, and I'm thinking she probably will change her mind. So well I'm I'm, I'm give me a six 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 and I ain't finna get no, I don't wanna feel all that. I said, Well, you know, you not keeping if you're not keeping it real now, you're not gonna keep it real then. So you like you're already not doing what God said do now. You know the book, you can read. But you're not obeying the, what he said do. I said, anybody can read the book. You know, anybody can quote the quote the Bible real good and the scripture real good, but are they living by it? Are they doing it? Are they, do they really love God? Do they really love Jesus? Or are you just going while you just playing around? Because when that time comes, you know, it's going to all come out. Who, what the real, who the real you is. And God already know, you know, who the real you. I'm like, so, so don't wait till that time. Do something now. Do something about it now. Do what God called and wants you to do right now. Don't even worry about what's going up ahead. Just worry about right now, today. You know who you living for. You gonna live for God? You gonna stick for? You gonna stick with it? Or you gonna wait till them years? You know when that time come and make up your mind. Then you know God already knows your heart. Anyway, here I know you gonna say what you gonna do. Or you gonna make up your mind and plan and say, Well, I'm I'm always just gonna get my little six 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 number on my forehead. You know, cause I'm gonna live. I'm gonna be on this side. I ain't getting no beating. Or are you going to trust in God, keep his faith, live for him right now today? You know, it don't even matter, don't even matter what they do to you. They can't hurt you. They can't harm you. Because God is a healer no matter what it is. He can, he'll make a, he'll make a wild no way for you. He won't even feel that pain. Glory be to God. And I believe, glory be to God. Anyway, I told her, I said, well, I'm not changing my mind. You know, when that, if that time comes back and, I, and I'm, if I'm still here, what if I'm in my 90s or 100, if I'm still here during that time, it's Jesus all the way. I'm sorry. I'm going all the way with Jesus. Glory be to God. I mean, that my mind is made up. You know, to do the will of God, to do what He could told me to do. I ain't giving up on Jesus. Why give up on Him? He ain't gonna. He not. He didn't give up on me. So I must go. I don't care what this world what they gonna do. And she was trying to tell me about uh, Kenneth Copeland. You know, he raising people from the dead and everything, saying that he's God, saying he's Jesus, saying he's this and saying he's that. And I'm like, well, he, you know, he got to answer to God. You know. I mean, she said she was uh when well, she was in her emplacement at the time, and um they told she was reading the Kenneth Copeland Bible, a book, and she was seeing and hearing everything was going on, you know, by reading, and they took the book from her. They said, "Let me read that in here." He said, "He's not Jesus, you know. He's claiming to be somebody he's not that he's not raising people from the dead, doing this and doing that and everything." I said, "Yeah, I heard about Copeland Dollar. He was a uh, um." He had raised somebody from the dead. I guess it was at a funeral or whatever he said. You know, he says, you know, if that person want to get up, say, you want to go? You want to get up, want to live? Get up and let's go. And I come to think about it, as I think about these things, you're raising people from the dead, it's like you're not Jesus. You're not God. It's like, you know, raising them from the dead. And I'm all like, for what? Why are you bothering them? 
I mean, why are you bringing them back to this world? Why they? I mean, why would they want to come back to this world? They, I mean, they dead in their castle, whatever. Their body's there and their spirit is around. They really not dead anyway. They really sleep. I mean, but it's like if they in the body, if they in a castle, and their body's keeping it's, it's still or whatever, dead, but their spirit not. It's like why even wake them up? Why even bother them? Tell them to come on, wake up, let's go. For what? It's like for what? You not Jesus? When Jesus comes, you know all that stuff's gonna happen anyway. They'll be back. Anyway, when Jesus get back, why are you trying to do stuff before time, before Jesus even even made it back yet? No, he's coming back. But why are you trying to do his work for him? Get people out their castle, raising people out the dead. It's like, for what? It's like if I was if I was to go right now, my body in that casket, my spirit is around, I ain't going nowhere. It's like, don't bother me. I'm in peace. Don't bother me. My ass don't want to get up, dog. Come on with you. For what? You ain't Jesus. Well, you Jesus, when that time comes, you know, he will get me up. I will rise up. I will live again. Praise God. I am I am going to live. You know, praise God. If it's my time to rest and go to sleep right now, I don't need nobody to get me up telling me to get up. Let's go. For what? Leave me alone. Let me rest for a little while until Jesus get back. <laughs> you let my body rest. Hallelujah. Dude. <laughs> I tell him I'm good. I'm like, I ain't playing. Just don't bother me. Don't ask me to get up for what? I mean, for what? My work is done until Jesus get back or something like that. I'm like, I ain't going to bother nobody. I want to lay down. Just let them lay there. Let them lay. Let them rest. Praise God. Let them rest. But, um, and that just, I mean, that's just how it is with me. Don't bother me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, she's just telling me, you know, what she was hearing, everything is on the internet and about Kendall Cope and all this. I'm like, well, I mean, it's, it's a lot of people saying that. There's a lot of people saying that. A lot of people going to be like doing it. A lot of people going to be doing that. But it's like, I'm sticking with the world. Nobody ain't seen Jesus. They're not Jesus neither. I don't care who they are. They're not Jesus. They pretend to be somebody that they're not, you know, they're taking. Sometimes they, people just take stuff, you know, an extra mile, extra level. With, you know, with, sometimes God really didn't tell them to do them things. They do stuff on their own, you know, like she was telling me, like I'm telling about Benny Hinn. You know, he was drinking and fell off and fell down the pool pit or whatever, you know, and, you know, and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, wow. I said, wow. I'm like, you know, he, he supposed to be healed all them people. But, yes, you know, the presence of God healed them people. Benny Hinn ain't healed nobody. Benny Hinn ain't done nothing. He just pray, but the spirit of God himself, he, he do he does the work. Benny Hinn ain't done nothing. God done it. That's all I can say. God done it. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's why I say the world is real and who I'm going to stand by, who I'm going to believe. I'm going to believe in my Jesus Christ because I know. I know. I just know how I did and I know how it works. And I know no man, you know, call themselves Jesus. They got the power to claim to be Jesus, but I know they're not. The devil is a lie. And I don't care who it is. Glory be to God. But God bless you. God keep you. I just wanted to share that with you all. I mean, like, I just hear and hear and hear. And I'm like, wow, I just have to study and read from all stuff and continue on to do the will of God, you know, and share with you all and pray with you, pray to you all, you know, and despite whatever you're going through, I don't even, all I just know is God is real, when it's that time, oh, you will know when Jesus is coming back, you will, you will see you, you will know the difference, you will know who's who, but, but before then, you know, people's already doing it, pretending like they're this, pretending like they're that, pretending like they're saying this, and pretending like, you know, Saying that Jesus saying I'm like I got I'm God I got the power I got this I got that you know you know you got the power through the grace of God but you don't have all power God got all powers praise God you know and they claiming they to be prophets and I'm this I'm that you know I mean I mean they doing stuff now they already doing it now but it's like it just get worse and worse and worse I'm just gonna stick to the book you know my when the real when the real one come everybody gonna know when the real deal get here. Everybody gonna know. He not gonna have somebody in a separate building talking about, well, I'm Jesus. I'm got the, I'm gonna raise people from the dead. You know, he's not gonna be in those, with one building full of just well, a thousand people in one building. No, when Jesus come back, everybody gonna see Jesus. It ain't gonna be just no one. It's gonna be all in the open. Everybody gonna see. It ain't gonna be no secret. Cause everybody gonna see and everybody gonna know. We pray to God. God bless you and pray for each and every last one of you. In spite of whatever you're going through, I don't know. I just know it's my God. My God, I must stand in the Word, and I believe in the Word, and I must do the will of God. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I love God, you know. I mean, when that time, whenever that time comes, you know, I'm just going to be ready. 
I'm just going to be ready. Glory to God. I'm just going to be ready. I'm already knowing. People are already saying they're doing things now. And I already know what's real and what's not real. But I got to serve a big God, awesome God. You know who I pray. Pray for myself and pray for others. And ask God to show me and lead me, you know, in the right direction at the right time. You know, send the right folks to me that know what they're talking about. Not trying to say they're Jesus and all this kind of stuff, you know, which I already know better. I already know better. I know Jesus can send some folks, you know, in your life and everything, but at the same time, they try to say that, that they are, that they is, but they not. But, um, God, bless, God, bless, God, bless, and the guy got to deal with that. But anyway, God bless you. Heavenly Father, pray for those who are watching. God bless you today, and God keep it. Pray, Lord, lead you, and God, and protect you in every area of your life. I pray no weapon for him against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. I pray no weapon for him against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. God bless you and your family in Jesus' name. Somebody may be sick. I pray, Lord, to heal and touch wherever you hurt, heal and touch wherever you pain. You may know somebody. I pray, Lord, to touch and heal them right where they are. And by his strike, you are healed. Glory be to God. Because it's all power in his, in his hand. And he wants you healed. He wants you well because he loves you. In Jesus' name, I pray. God bless you as well as every day. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. And I just pray that my name is Jesus. You walk by faith and not by sight. In Jesus' name, I pray. Glory be to God. So until next time, remember God love you, and so do I. You have a wonderful, blessed day, an upcoming blessed week, you and your family. In Jesus' name, see you later next time. Take care.